Hey guys, it's Jordan here, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Handlebars by the Flowbots. Alright, this is a little preview of what it's going to sound like. And that's pretty much all there is to it. It just repeats throughout the song. Alright, so the first part, we'll scooch up right here. First part, 7th fret of the G string. 6th fret of the B string. To the 5th fret of the E string. You just want to make each note short. So you go 7 on the G, 6 on the B, 5 on the E, 6 on the B. And each of these is in a pattern of little, uh, four little notes. You can even palm mute if you want. Um, so you get, and then you go to the seventh fret of the D string. palm muted, it's like that, not, it's like that, and then 5th fret of the G string, to the 5th fret of the B string, and then back to the 5th fret of the G, so, so far we have this, now you bring it down to the 3rd fret of the D string, and you can pretty much bar this, 3rd fret on the D, then the G, and then the B, and then you want to bring your pinky up here to the 8th fret of the Sorry, not the eighth fret, the sixth fret of the uh, B string. And then uh, you want to put your ring finger on the fifth fret of the G string, roll it down to the fifth fret of the B string, and then the third fret of the high E string back to the fifth fret of the B. So that little part right there. And all together we have. And the next part, third fret of the G to the third fret of the B, then sixth fret of the B to the sixth fret of the E string. I go like this with my index finger and then bring my pinky in over here. Now the next part, you want to bring your middle finger all the way up to the 8th fret of the B string, then the 6th fret of the E string, 10th fret of the E string, with my pinky I do it, back to the 8th fret of the, sorry, the 6th fret of the E string, like that. So after, then you do middle finger 6th fret of the B string, Index finger, 5th fret of the high E string. Pinky on the 7th fret. Um, then, sorry, not the 7th fret, the 8th fret. So, middle finger, 6th fret of the B. Index finger, 5th fret of the E. Pinky, 8th fret of the E. Back to the index finger on the 5th fret. And then you want to do index finger on the 5th fret of the B string to the 8th fret of the B string with your ring finger, then the 5th fret on the E string, to the 7th fret of the D string, and then you repeat. You get the point. It just goes like that for the entire song. And I was just listening to it a couple minutes ago, and I figured it out pretty quick. So it's not a very hard thing to play. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe right up there. All right, guys, thanks for watching.